Live from the Sweet and Snack Show. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. We're here live at the Sweet and Snack Show with Molly. And Molly, I want you to talk a little bit about the why and how you started this company. Well, I started about five years ago after uh, living in Iowa, and my kids and I would go to the county fair every year and fell in love with beer bread, which is something that a lot of people don't know beer bread if you're not kind of a middle middle America family. I know beer bread, you yes. Know beer bread? Totally. Okay. So I wanted to figure out the perfect beer bread and bring it to everybody. And so that's what I started with. I knew nothing about food, nothing about baking, nothing about manufacturing. I was a retailer and decided that this product that my family loves needs to be out there. And so I started with one product. Uh, we now have over 40 products, and that was our original flavor, beer bread. You add a can of beer, you bake it in the oven, That's you have it. a beautiful loaf of bread. That's it. Was it hard to do originally? Because like you said, you didn't have the background. How, how challenging was it early on? Boots and straps. And Experiments. <laughs> yeah, just really just that desire and that urge like I can do this and people keep telling me I can't and you have a really successful retail business why would you do this because when you're an entrepreneur that the thrill of the hunt is what feeds you and then when you figure it out you're completely inspired to keep going yeah so how'd you get it out there originally with the beer bread okay uh, when I was in retail I owned a Hallmark store I called up 10 women around the United States that owned Hallmark chains I sent them $150 worth of the bread and said please put this on your shelves and support me and if it doesn't sell you don't have to pay your bill and if it does I would love feedback that was five years ago and they are all still customers they were my first 10 customers they gave me feedback as I was tweaking the product and perfecting it and we're now in 5,000 retail locations Amazing. So where did you get this entrepreneurial drive? Were your parents entrepreneurs? You seem like you had that thrill of the hunt. You know what? My grandpa was an entrepreneur and owned hardware stores, furniture stores, would sleep in the back when he didn't have enough money. And I grew up when I was little living with him. My mom and I lived with him at a single mom when I was young. And I think it just really, I, I loved, they would hand make bows in their stores. And I, I somehow I just really connected with that, that, um, it, it was a thing that I didn't see in my parents' generation so much. Um, my, my dad grew up as a farmer, and my mom was in business. Well, those The farmers are the hardest working people in America. So Absolutely, absolutely. Did you have so. to get up really early? What, what Were you working in the hardware store? What were you doing early on? Oh, my parents put me to work when I was like 13, and I said, well, I want to go into a store like Grandpa's. So I worked in a gift shop, and I worked in the basement, and I would unpack boxes, and I would sweep the floors, I'd do anything. Just well, everyone, when they're that young, should be rolling up their sleeves. What? Uh, yes. yeah. Put our kids to work. <laughs> so let's talk about the expansion. Start with beer bread. Talk about what are some of the next products that you came up with. So uh, once I realized that was a hit, then I thought, well, what do I need to do to expand my shelf presence in stores? One product only gets you so far. So I expanded flavors first. A garlic bread, an Italian mix a sweet cinnamon roll mix. I want to try sweetness in beer. So our cinnamon crumble beer bread is fantastic. After that, I wanted to try more party items because I'm really a party enthusiast, a hostess. I like hacks. I like table decorations. I'm not a chef. So then I decided to come up with quick and easy dip mixes that you just add sour cream and mayo. So you have a garlic dip, a BLT dip, a spicy dip. Everything is designed for quick and easy and fun and parties. And then uh, two years ago, my then eight-year-old daughter and I would go to Pinterest and we would get mug cakes or a hot thing. And we would get recipes, five or six ingredients, and make a big mess. We'd mix cocoa with sugar, and et cetera. And we would mix it up with water in the microwave and about two out of 10 would taste really good and we would always make a mess, but we loved them. And my daughter said one day, mom, if you could just package this perfect recipe in a Molly and you bag, I would like this a lot better. 
So talk the story, yeah. So I said, honey, I can do it. Let's let's come up with it. So so she and I perfected the first item, the ooey gooey chocolate, and uh, went to market about 18 months ago with this product, and now we have seven flavors. And it was I, I got to give her credit for the idea, really. So. so expansion. Where can people find you? Where can they get the product? So we're in a gift shop, specialty gift. We're in department stores, uh, like Von Mauer department store. We're in a grocery like hy V Grocers. We're in all of those locations, Meyer Grocery. We've got beer breads in Wegmans. Um, you can find our single serve microwave collection. We just launched in Walmart, which is a big change for us. Thank you, nationwide. Uh, and of course online. So we're expanding as fast as we can keep up with on the finance side. So Molly, you make it seem easy. Are there any challenges in the business? <laughs> it is so hard, but if I acknowledge that it's hard, I might not get out of bed. So I just ignore the hard parts. Uh, yeah, for me the challenge, we're growing so fast. Honestly, um, when we started and started selling in gift, I built a really strong foundation, a fantastic team. I'm woman owned, most of my employees are women and 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 you know I, I, as the boss, I tell my team, you give everything you can to me and I give it back to you and we have a golden rule. And anybody who works on our team never misses anything that's important in the, their lives or the lives of anybody they love. And if you build an environment where your employees feel that you care about them and their families, they will work so hard for you, which helps to build an amazing company. The challenge for me, honestly, with the fast growth now isn't scaling, it's not production, it's not packaging, it's not factories. I have three factory location, it's financing. So that's where I see- The faster you grow, the more product you need, everything has to grow with it. Yeah, so that looking for the investments, the next step for us on the financial side and who we're gonna partner with, that's where my biggest challenge lies. So proudest moment. I know there's been a lot of up moments. What's been a proud moment for you in the journey? All right. I I love employing women in a rural community and providing opportunities where there aren't so many opportunities. When we uh, when I bought our first 16,000 square foot uh, distribution center and bought a forklift and got 11 women on my team licensed on the forklift, as silly as that sounds, I had so much pride about that for being an employer and employing women and having women do these things that, I mean, that are amazing. I, that was such a proud moment for me, get, being able to hand out those 11 licenses to drive a forklift. I love that. <laughs> I want a picture of that. <laughs> so where can people check you guys out online? Obviously you can find it in different stores. Where should they go? Yeah, start out molly-u.com. Check out our Instagram and Facebook. Start there. Go to our store locator. Uh, if you want to partner with us, if you think that we might be a good fit for you in any way, um, find us online and just reach out to us. Awesome. Thanks. Live from Sweet and Snack. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, like a peach if you find the same.